Hey what is up guys, welcome back. So welcome to my guide video for newer players. This is mainly directed at players who aren't able to farm B7 to B9 yet. And um, you know I just made that guide video on how to make gold. And I'd imagine a lot of people maybe aren't at that point yet. So this is just a guide telling you guys or teaching you guys how to get through early game as fast and as efficiently as possible. Now right now I'm on my ult. This is called Phantom Noob. Um, it's not really... It's, it's not really leveled. I didn't really play on this account too much, but I have been slowly, slowly leveling this account, playing about like two hours every single day, like super, super casual, um, like a casual player would, probably. And I've just been leveling a water team, trying to get through B8 as fast as possible. I did grab two water monos. This one's evil two, this one's only evil one, um, and this Coteen, and this... Shelly. Now you might be asking why I didn't use this Water Valk. It's because I actually limited myself to not being able to use any Nat 5s or um, unattainable um, Nat 4s. I really didn't use this this Water Valk Nat 5 because um, it's like not everyone would choose this Water Valk as their contract hero. Maybe some people chose the, the Fire Arthur or the Wood Odin. Um, if you chose the Fire Arthur it's actually pretty bad. Well the Fire Arthur isn't bad but um, if you chose the Fire Arthur for your contract hero, it actually hurts your progression quite a lot early game. Um, mainly because he doesn't really help with farming or like farming anything. My recommendation actually is to choose the Wood Odin. I'll actually talk a little bit about that later. But I chose the Water Valk just to... I don't know, I, I liked her more and I'm, I wasn't planning on using any of them. So I just basically picked her up and she's just sitting in my inventory. So yeah, she's just sitting on my, <laughs> on my ship, chilling and not really being being leveled and stuff. Um, I actually allowed myself to use these two because these two are obtainable. Like you get this one for free, you get her for free, you get this by farming, like he's a farmable Nat 4. So um, pretty much everyone can get him. You also get a free copy of him just by playing the game as well. So he's 100% he's free. Um, now my team isn't really ready for B8 yet, but I can show like a test run of B8. It's not it's uh, really really unstable right now because these two are only at four stars they're not at five stars and their gems are also really really shitty like like this is this is like the definition of ass all right um, but I will I will borrow like a rep and then I'll show you a run of like b8 um, and how this team is pretty close to being able to farm through b8 I don't have a lot of friends either but I think I can use this Water Valk. This Water Valk might be a little bit too strong, actually, to be to be farming B8. Oh, this this Water Valk is way too strong. Um, but then I really don't have anything else to use. If I use this, will she get soloed? No, I have to use a Water Monster. I can't use anything else. All right, uh, we're just gonna have to go with this. I don't have any friends. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a I'm a loner. I got no friends. It's the only rep I can use. I would use my Shelly, but he's just way too weak. Like, this Coteen's still even stronger than the Shelly, because the Shelly's only evil one. Um, probably should have just used three Monas. Would have been better. But I need to farm another Mona. Alright, this isn't too bad. It's just that my Coteen isn't getting any any blue souls, which is a little bit sad. Which kind of makes me wonder if I should even be using this Coteen, because, you know, if I if I just use like four water attackers, it actually might be a little bit better. It, um, relying on this Coteen to heal is actually more unreliable. It's actually better for me to kill things faster than to try to tank through it. Now that I think about it. But yeah, they're pretty good. Like you see um, them attacking my Mona and my Mona's being able to hold off on their own. So yeah, this definitely works. All right, and it wasn't too bad either. So. Um, you know, you can if you if you chose the Wood Valk as your contract hero, you can definitely do it. If you just level a little bit more, like grab three Water Monas, you can pretty much do the same thing as well. 
Um, you know, it doesn't make... Should I keep this? This is a 5-star gem. It's, it's still usable for me. I should probably keep it. Um, but what I'm trying to say is you you don't exactly need to use the Water Velk. You can actually use like three Water Monas. And if you raise them all to Evil 3, um, you can pretty much get the same results. Obviously, that's a lot of work. There are other Water Monsters you can use as well. Pretty decent Water Nukers. Especially ones that have like Elemental Advantage against Fire. If you happen to have something like a Water Beth, that's actually really, really strong. Um, a Water... There's actually um, a few two-star monsters, like this, the, the horsey. But I don't know if they're obtainable. You might have to, like, pull it from an egg or something like that. But, like, this even has, like, Fire Predator on, on its first skill as well. So it's, like, it's pretty easy to level as well. I can definitely raise one if I happen to pull a water one. I don't think they're farmable, though. Only the Fire one's farmable. Yeah, the Fire one's farmable, but the water one isn't. The water one technically is in Skyfalls, but I don't think I can get to Skyfalls, so I, if I want to use him, I need to basically pull him from a small egg. But I think he's definitely a pretty good monster I can actually make use of if I if I get early on to, to help me get through um, B8 a little bit faster. You can actually make use of a lot of two-star monsters. I think the water lat's also pretty good, but I don't know what happened to mine. My memory's a little bit foggy. I might have accidentally fed him. Maybe it wasn't an accident. Maybe I just didn't like his face. But I think he's gone. But there is a lot of water monsters you can use to replace um, whatever you don't need. And, and you can get through that. But if you chose the Wood Odin for your contract hero, what you can actually do is you can use wood monsters. And use those wood monsters to get through B8. Like the Wood Boltwing is actually very good. Or, or not B8, B7. You, and Wood Miho is also very good. Wood Miho is also farmable. They give you a lot of Mihos for free. So if you just play through the the map and um, you know go through go through everything, you can actually get some Wood Mihos. Like you know they give you Mihos and and stuff for free. So you can actually grab these Wood Mihos. Um, if you clear through all of Extreme, they give you like a free Wood Miho. And Wood Mihos are also farmable on Extreme mode. If you farm the map a few times, you might come across one. So that's definitely not too difficult to get. Um, same thing with the Wood Mona. Wood Mona has to be summoned, but you know, if you summon a Wood Mona, you can actually get it to Evil 3 pretty easy. Or you can use like a Wood Beth. Wood Beth is also farmable. It has Water Predator on both his skills. So it's a very, very excellent monster for, um, for B7. But this isn't really a, a Golem guide. I just wanted to point those monsters out to tell you guys that there's a lot of really, really good um, farmable and obtainable options to help you get through B7 and B8. Now, onto the real guide part on how to actually get through it. Um, I, I talked a little bit about golems just to kind of get you guys started on what you want to try to aim for and what monsters you want to try leveling. And now to actually level those monsters and try to progress. Um, so, you, you actually have two routes, two choices, um, two things, two t teams that you can choose to to get you through early game. Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to build either a wood team for B7 or you want to build a water team for B8. And you choose between the two. If you choose, and I think it's actually pretty good for you, for you to build both, which is what I'm doing. You can focus on one, but you want to build both at the same time because, um, and it's actually easier for you to maybe start by building a wood team first and then move over to a water team. I actually made the mistake now when I made when I made this account to actually go straight for the water team and it's actually hurting my progression quite a lot because I'm not able to farm on Phantom Forest Extreme. So what I did on my account is very very simple. I went through normal mode on these four maps and you know unlocked Pagos Coast. I didn't really play through this map at all. I basically just played through Pagos Coast and that's pretty much it. And um, I went through normal mode, I went through hard mode and I got to extreme mode. And I went through extreme mode on this first map mainly to um, kind of also unlock the second map as well. I didn't really even need to unlock it as long as I unlock like maybe the gold stage on as, lo as long as I can get to this stage on extreme mode on Phantom Forest, I'm pretty much good. Like I'm set for the early game as long as I can get to this stage. And the reason why I recommend choosing the Wood Odin first is the Wood Odin even with really really shitty gems can still help you clear through clear through um, this stage really really easily. And once you're able to farm through this stage, you actually have access to 4-star gems. So what 
um, what normal mode drops is one star to two star gems, hard mode drops two star to three star, and extreme mode drops three star to four star gems. So you have a chance to get four star gems. If you farm the stage enough, you can definitely get four star gems for every single one of your monsters, for every single type of main stat that you want. As long as you farm enough, like basically just go through like 100 runs, it's not too hard. Um, if you have your Wood Odin, you can get through like 100 runs of this, and then you will have basically gems for your entire team. All your monsters that you want to build um, can be fully gemmed with 4 star gems. And the slip stats don't really matter at this point because you don't. You know, you, you don't have the luxury to really care about those substats, and it's not really needed. That you don't you don't really need like really really good substats to be able to make it through um, B7 and B8. So I would say B7 is actually slightly harder than B8. But if you chose the wooden as your contract hero for B, um, you can actually get through B7. You can get away with a lot of things, and you can actually clear through B7 a lot easier. Obviously, I don't have the wooden wood Odin. Um, wooden. I don't have the wood Odin with me. I didn't choose it as my contract hero. I won't be able to really show a B, B8 run. Um, these three aren't really ready for. I mean B7. Um, these three aren't really ready for B7. But basically, what you want is you want to level your monsters up to five stars um, max level if you can and get them gemmed up with 4 star gems and upgrade those gems to plus 12 like don't be afraid to spend your gold and just upgrade those gems all the way up to plus 12 and those 4 monsters, wood monsters should definitely be able to solo B7 or not solo but like clear through B7 um, relatively safely and B7 even got easier than it was before I was able to do that when I first started the game um, now it's even easier because the resistance of the golems is also lowered so if you have something with sap or um, something with armor break um, you can actually land it on the golem a little bit easier now as well so definitely B, um, B7 is pretty easy to farm if you have some decent wood monsters like you don't need strong wood monsters like these three are pretty easy to get um, this one's free if you chose the wood Odin and have the wood bolt wing you're pretty much set you can just throw in two other random wood monsters it doesn't need to, even need to be anything important like two, throw in two wood bets like bets are farmable here you can get a bunch of bets um, just throw in two wood bets you're good for B7 for B8 um, B8 is pretty much like my <laughs> greatest me recommendation is to use the Monas. Um, Monas are really, really good, like the Water Mona. You can actually, if you have n absolutely nothing else to use, just throw in three Water Monas. Um, you can actually get your Wood Team like up maybe to four stars and level your Wood Odin up to max. Maybe raise that Boltwing to five and then maybe those two can already be strong enough to get you through B7. And then you can start working on your B8 team because B8 is much, much easier to farm and much faster to farm. So if you just want gold and stuff, um, B8 is also like a little bit better than B7 in terms of um, time efficiency. But as long as you can clear through one of these stages, you will be able to, you know, enter mid game. You can actually go back and look at the gold farming guide and, you know, you'll be able to farm B7, be able to convert your gold into astro gems, astro gems into energy and energy back into gold and make a profit every single time. As long as you're able to farm one of these, these three stages. Um, B9 is actually a little bit harder, so we're not going to really talk about it. Um, and that's why like fire monsters aren't as valuable early game but they're still pretty valuable once you're at the point where you need to um, start farming b9 they're still pretty good but early on you're it's all it's all really about wood and water monsters it used to be all about wood before they changed b8 into fire now it's also about water as well because um, you can use water monsters and abuse your the elemental advantage against this boss and he's also easier than the b7 boss slightly easier um so yeah, that's I think that's pretty much it. What you want to do is you want to get get through normal mode um, over here, like normal mode once, and then once you finish Mirage Ruins, what unlocks is hard mode for Phantom Forest. So each continent is separate. You basically you have to go through each continent before you can progress to the to the next continent. So what you want to do is you want to get through normal mode of um, the first continent and then hard mode again and then you will unlock extreme mode on the first map and that's really all you need and as long as you can get through this gold stage because gold the gold stage is probably the most gold efficient stage for early game um as long as you can get through to this stage you should be able to stay here and farm for a while you can level your up your monsters here you can level up you can get gold here and um you can also farm for your gems and gem up all your monsters like exactly the way you want. Basically, the easiest way, if you don't know how to gem up a monster, you cannot go wrong with one slot HP, one slot defense, and one slot attack. Just 
Every single monster in the game can be gem gemmed up like that. If you have no idea how to gem up a monster, you can actually gem up your monster that way. Um, honestly, even full tanks, even healers can be gemmed up that way if you really want to. Obviously, for healers, like the t they're not going to benefit too much from the attack. So you can either slap on um, a recovery gem, or you can slap on another HP or defense gem on them. Um, for tanks, sometimes... Uh, you know, since they're already so tanky, they don't really need the extra tankiness. You can actually slap on an attack gem as well and try to up your DPS just a little bit. It might it might make your farm time a little bit faster and stuff like that. So that's also something to consider. Now, um, if you if you somehow messed up early game, you have no gold um, and you have astro gems. What you want to do is you want to save up those astro gems, obviously refill and use that to to um, farm for more gold. I used to think that like farming on B4 is efficient, but to be honest, like B4 doesn't even drop that good gems. It drops two to four star gems. You're probably better off just farming um, farming over here. You're always guaranteed to get three three to four star gems with for five energy. And B4 also costs five energy, I think. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh no, B4 costs six energy. Yeah, it's so it's actually quite inefficient, so you might as well farm the gold stage on extreme mode, and you will always be able to get a... Um, first of all, you'll get the gold bonus. You'll be able to get more XP here. Um, on event times, sometimes like global event times, um, these stages benefit more because you get more b bonus gold and XP, so it's like a double double bonus. And you get better gems here. And they they all come in the same set. Like, you, you get the... The flat HP set. Um, and 2500 early game is actually pretty significant, so don't underestimate this. It's actually pretty nice to have. Just basically, just put the set together and go into B7, B8 with your team, and you should definitely be able to farm it. Now, this isn't this isn't a golem guide. It's basically just to get you through early game. But, um, but yeah, that's basically it for just early game progression. Once you're able to farm B7 and B8, you, you've unlocked mid game and you are able to farm astrogens infinitely. You're able to participate in Heroes Festival. You're able to do a lot of things as long as you're, you know, um, playing the game actively and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not, it's been a pretty short guide. I will be working on this account and leveling it and trying to get it a little bit stronger for future guide videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully um, this helped you guys out a little bit. And if you have any questions, um, you can you can just leave me a comment. Or if you want a question answered immediately, you can actually hit me up on Discord. I'm pretty much always online unless I'm either one recording a video or asleep or fapping, yes. Um, one of those three things. If I'm not doing one of those three things, I will be able to answer your question um, instantly, immediately, like the moment you ask it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.